everyone, this is TJ with Robin Hood Coins, and today we're doing another six box half dollar hunt. For today's hunt, we have six boxes of the Loomis Rolls, and my little helpers are here to help. But unfortunately, if we don't find silver, we, they lose interest, so you may not see them in the video. Last week we got skunked, and so hopefully this week we find a lot of silver, some more errors, some more proofs, and a lot of things for our collection, as well as something really good for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, just comment on the video, and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. So with that, let's get into these rolls. We have box number one laid out on the table, so let's get into these rolls, and hopefully we have some silver. And it looks like we have silver. That is exciting. Roll number six. Right there. Let's see if you guys can see it. Oh, man, that's exciting. And it's a 64. I was thinking it was a 90 percenter. I'll take that all day long. Look at that. Got to love finding silver. Here is a quick wrap up for box number one. We ended up with a total of five NIFCs in decent shape. We'll keep all of these. And that 1964, got to love finding silver. It's been, it feels like it's been forever. It's only been one week, but still, glad to find that. And now it's time for box number two. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is a nice NIFC 2017, just super nice on the edge. Great looking coin right there. And we have a proof. Look at that. That is good stuff. We'll see if we have anything else and it does not look like it. We'll give that clad to my wife who's helping me out with the clad. And let's check out this proof. That is good stuff. I'm 99% sure we already have this one because we found a really beat up one last week. And I went to see my full, or my album and we had a decent one in there. But this one's pretty nice. So I'll have to check that and see if uh, if it upgrades our album. We got a proof on the board. We are all done with box number two, and that turned out to be a decent box. We got that 1988 San Francisco proof. It's in decent shape. It's got a little bit of uh, rust or some kind of coloration down there on the bottom right, but still decent. We had a really nice 2017 NIFC, and we had a total of seven NIFCs, and none of them have the ring of death or anything like that, so that's pretty cool. They're all keepers. And then I wanted to show you this, 1979. It's almost like it was either painted or maybe oxidized from like a chemical that caused a weird texture on the uh, obverse primarily. It's easier to see just because, hopefully I can get the light. Look at that to the right of the coin. It, it, it almost looks like this was painted. All right, let's get into this box and hopefully we can get another silver ender. It has been too long. Oh, and it looks like we have a proof. I am pretty sure that is a proof. A couple of these look a little silvery, so we're going to have to... Pay attention to those. I believe my little helper here is going to want to spin some rolls. <laughs> well, we got box three all laid out right here, and it looks like we may have a silver ender. I don't know for sure, but it could be right there. That is for sure a proof. And then these two right here look like they're probably just really toned, but I thought, you know what, they might be silver, so I figured I'd throw them up front as well. And I think I'm gonna try to get one of my helpers to help me out here because we may have silver. We are cracking into this first stroll 
And let's see what we have. This is the roll that might have an ender. It's like a 50-50 chance in my mind. Right there. Let's see. 50-50 chance is 100. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if my little helper can crack into that roll, that is. Yeah, that's like I, I, once I got $50, $50. All right, let's see. And it does look like it. Let's see what it is. It oh, is. no, it's not. It's just a dirty coin. It's a 1974. But even the edge kind of tricked me a little bit. We're on roll number two. And I'm opening the roll that had the proof. That's right. My lucky little helper's here. Hopefully <laughs> she has some silver inside the roll. A 1993 S. What about that nope. one right there, the shiny one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 2018P. That's an NIFC. That's right. Good job. <laughs> I know my NIFCs. <laughs> Good job. This is roll number 10. And we have another proof. And this time, it is a bicentennial proof. Let's see. Check this out. I have this already. I know because I was looking for it for a long time and then we finally got it. So I'll have to check this against the album and see if that upgrades the album. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into roll number 12. See what we can find. Ooh, I found something. What'd you find? An S. Oh, nice. Look at that. Thank you, honey. Uh-huh. I'll keep looking. 1971 San Francisco Proof. Very cool. And I don't know for sure, but, yep, we have another one right there. Man, there's a lot of proofs in this box. This is cool. Look at this. 1985 San Francisco proof right there. That makes four proofs on the box. No, five proofs on the box so far. And we are getting into roll number 44. Still looking for our first silver for this box. And we have something interesting here. Let's see if you guys can see it, but it might not be silver. I don't know, it's kind of, it doesn't really look like it, but it just looks different. So we are going to find out what it is. It is a 1974 gold plated. Look at that. And it looks like the gold plating is worn off on the outside where the United States of America is. On the reverse. But still an interesting little find. And this is roll number 46. And it looks like we're gonna get another proof right here. Yes, we are. That is very cool. Look at that. We have a 1986 San Francisco proof. Got to love that. I don't know if I have that year already, but this is in decent shape for being in circulation anyway. So that is very cool. 1985 and 1986. Well, I finished opening up all the rolls looking for silver. So I was going through some of the rolls with my wife, uh, going through the clad and looking for proofs and whatnot. And look what I found. We got a 1989 San Francisco proof. This one's pretty beat up and worn. I'm not sure if I need that one, but we will find out. We are all done with box number three, and we ended up with a total of seven proofs. We had 1971. The best one was that 1976 right there. That one was pretty nice. Got to love that. We had a pretty worn 1985. The 1986 wasn't bad. 
My wife found one of the 1989s. I didn't record it because I had already shown the other 1989 that I found. So two of those, pretty worn though. And then we had the 1993 with also some sort of rust, uh, looks like rust damage on it, water damage. We had two NIFCs in good condition. And then we had that 1974 gold plated or gold painted coin right there. All right, what are you doing? I'm gonna open it and try to open the box. All right, let's get into this box. We need some silver. Oh, oh. Good job. Keep going. There you go. Good job. Let's see if we can find some silver. All right, we have box number four laid out and ready to go. So hopefully we find some more silver. And we are getting into roll number 50, hoping for some last roll luck. Some last roll luck and we got it. Look at that, that is crazy. Oh, let's see if we have anything else. I didn't think it was going to be one. I, I guess I was just like, no way. But look at that. That is awesome. Good job, Daddy. Thank you, little helper. <laughs> that is really cool. And it's that 1965, which is, I believe, a little bit lower mintage. Way to end on a good note. We are all done with box number four, and this is what we had to show for it. We have a 2016 with some Ring of Death markings, so we're going to send that back. But we had a 2003 that I'll keep and a 1965, 40% Kennedy, second silver of the hunt. Very cool. And now we have box number five laid out here. Hopefully we can keep that silver going. And we are getting into roll number 11. And roll number 11 has something a little interesting. But we don't know. Let's just see. Let's see if you guys can see anything. I don't know. It might not be. It is, though. It is. It's a 1967. I'll give that clad to my wife to check. She's very, very helpful helping me out. And we have a 1967. 40% Kennedy. Got to love that. First silver for this box, third for the hunt. And we might have a proof here. We do! That is a much nicer proof too than the uh, two 1989s that we got out of a couple boxes ago. Look at this 1989. That is a nice one. I mean, don't get me wrong. They've, we have found a lot better ones, but Considering those last two 89s that we found, that's way better. Really cool. Happy to get that one. I'm all done opening the rolls and looking for silver, and I was hoping my wife go through some of the last rolls looking for through the clad, and we found this bicentennial proof. Second one of the hunt. We found one earlier a couple boxes ago, and now this one. That is very cool. All right, we are all done with box number five, and we have these two NIFCs that are going back because of damage and marking, but we have a 1976 Bicentennial right there. We got a nicer 1989, nicer than the ones we got earlier, and a 1967. Got to love finding silver. And now it's time for box number six. Here's a quick recap of box number six. We ended up with a total of 10 NIFC. And we had three proofs. We had the 1985 San Francisco. We had a 1982 San Francisco. And we had the 1971 San Francisco. A couple of those we found after we were done filming looking for silver, just looking through the clad. And then we had three NIFCs that are going to go back because of either being scratched up or uh, marks from like the, the Ring of Death. 
Here's the overall wrap up. We hit a total of three silver. We had one 90%er, this 1964 Kennedy right here. We had two 40 percenters, a 67, and this 1965, which is cool because I don't get this one as often as the rest. We had a total of 13 proofs. We had these four up here that are either going to fill a spot in my album or upgrade a spot in my album. And then we had these nine down here, which are extras or duplicates, and they're going to go to my daughter's albums. So first off is this 1971 Believe it or not, this is going to be an upgrade. The one I have is pretty thrashed. Then we had this 1976, which is actually pretty nice. So that's uh, that's going to be an upgrade. That's pretty cool. We had this 1986, which is going to be an upgrade. The one I have is in worse condition. This isn't the greatest condition. And then this 1989 proof is going to fill a hole that is empty right now. So that is really cool. And then we had a total of 25 NIFC over here that we're going to keep. We sent back 5 to 10 to have the ring of death or just really banged up. But overall, it was a really fun hunt. We had some good finds, added some silver to the stack, so that's cool. So the Robinhood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be these two 40% silver Kennedys that we found. First off, we got the 1965, then we got the 1967, and as always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on the video, and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner next Saturday. Well, I hope you enjoyed this hunt as much as we enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. If so, smash that like button. It really helps our channel. If you enjoy our content, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos or giveaways. And with that, we will see you on the next hunt.